We're going to start right now. Every 10 minutes, you're going to get to vote somebody out of the room. <laughs> so start making those little strategic alliances. Start backstabbing each other. Some of you are probably thinking, start. <laughs> Now, of course, I do not want to talk about survival. To me, survival is a lousy goal and a goal that too many of us are opting for. I want to talk about the opposite of that, how we can create the kind of work environment, how we can create the kind of volunteer environment where people want to come to your island, where people don't want to get voted off the island, they want to get voted onto your island. How many of you would like to go into work tomorrow knowing that you are going to have at least a little bit more of this. <laughs> and more importantly, how many of you at the end of your work day, at the end of a brutal, grueling work day, how many of you would like to come through your front door and leap through your front door and say, Honey, I'm home. <laughs> and imagine the kind of workplace where when you wake up on a Monday morning, you are so excited about going into work, you hear this. <laughs> yes. For Rocky, of course, you don't just get out of bed. No, you leap out of bed. You grab your spouse, you kiss your spouse, you run over here, you grab your dog, you kiss your dog. If you don't have a dog or a spouse, you kiss yourself. <laughs> you, know the way you, do it? you go to the mirror and you do the fun dance naked in front of you. <laughs> about your ideal, inspiring kind of workplace, that you cartwheel into the shower, and in the shower, you sing your workplace theme song. How many people have a workplace theme song? What? Well, don't worry about it. You're making it up in the shower. You're making up your workplace theme song. You get out of the shower. You are so pumped, you don't dry off with a towel. You run around the house naked, air drying yourself. Too many people are waking up on a Monday morning, I think, looking a little too much like this. <laughs> and when you wake up looking like this, and you wipe the drool off the pillow, you don't exactly hear the theme from Rocky, do you? And when you think about going to your volunteer organization, going to your workplace, you don't leap out of bed with the enthusiasm of that guy. No, you don't even do the fun dance naked in front of the mirror. You don't. You just sort of stagger into your bathroom where you don't even bother with a shower, right? You're so stressed that you just give yourself a wet sponge bath using a few damp pieces of toilet paper. You get dressed into what you think of as your regulation prison wear, right? For the week, ties for the men and pantyhose for the women. And, well, some of the men. And I didn't mean to point at Punch. He was just sitting right there. I just... And your first mission is to make it to Wednesday because what is Wednesday? Come day, yes, and you can see... I can turn this car around any time, ladies and gentlemen. And the pilot comes on with the taxing announcement. And he sounds very, you know, monotone at first. He says, yeah, this is Captain Bob up in the cockpit. Uh, we'll be uh, taking off shortly. Uh, yeah. no, I don't sound very good, do I? I'll be right back. <laughs> what do you mean, you'll be right back? 
we're on a plane, we're about to take off, where are you going? And he comes back on about five seconds later, and he does this impersonation of a monster truck rally announcer. So he comes on the PA and he goes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Bob in your cockpit. We are going to be taking this baby up to 32,000 feet where the angels fly. And he does this like three minute amazing commentary. The whole plane broke out into applause when he was done. I mean, how many flights have you been on where people applaud the taxiing announcement? Then we get up on the plane and they have this contest, right? Where you have to pass the toilet paper over your head and you're racing the other aisle. So you have to get the toilet paper to the back of the plane, touch the back wall, pull it over the head of the successive rows. The winner gets let off the plane first. He's decided to embrace two values, just two values, trust and humor. And so he uses trust in all of his relationships with his customers, with his staff, and he uses humor in everything he does. His new slogan now is one night at Barney's will cure you from sleeping around. <laughs> and he uses humor to deal with some of his challenges. Even when he had a tragedy last fall at the motel, he had a fire. An entire wing of his motel burnt down. This is horrible for a small business owner. But he was so committed to following that core value that while the fire was going on, flames shooting out of his building, fire trucks right there, he's over here changing the letters on his highway sign so that the sign says, great deal on non-smoking rooms.